What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about Chapter 2, Season 3. Now, as you can see, I'm playing some Team Rumble, so enjoy the gameplay, but today I'm going to be talking about some gameplay, like, stuff that's been added into the game to make this so good and really entertaining and stuff. So I'd just like to do a quick notice, um, we have literally just hit 22 subscribers, so expect a subscriber special on the way very soon. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. This base, I'm just going over some stuff. So these are my opinions on season three. I think this is very cool so far. So yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, I mean, I'm a, a huge fan of the season already. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. So as you can see here, this is like a clip about the hunting rifle, and it has been unbolted, guys. Watch this insane clip. So as you can see in the clip there, the hunting rifle is actually back, guys. It literally was just unbolted at the start of the season, and I think a lot of people are happy about it because now it's so much easier to trick off and pull off like loads of the crazy stuff. So yeah, I was always a huge fan of the hunting rifle, I'd always pick it up back in season 3 when it first came out, and honestly I've actually gotten really good with this gun, so yeah, I I've loved that it's come back into the game, guys. What do you think about it? Honestly, people say it's like a great, and I have to agree with those people, so yeah, I'm a big fan of the hunting rifle, so I'll give it an 8 out of 10. So now I kind of want to move on to the battle pass. So the battle pass this season has actually been pretty good. We've had the kit skin, ocean, also fade, which is the skin you can also get the final style for at tier 100. We have scuba jonesy, which is a decent skin. I mean, it's not the best, but you know. There is also the astronaut skin, which I cannot remember the name of, like at all. But, and there's the Eternal Knight skin, that everyone thought it was going to be like a female Black Knight, but you can get the Ultimate Knight style, the Eternal style, and the Black Knight style. So yeah, let me guys, no, well guys, let me know what you think of that, and yeah, I think it's a pretty cool skin. It's definitely one of my favourite Black Knight spin-offs, because Black Knight's such a prestigious skin, and yeah, I think the skin's decent. So, as you... Well, most of you will know there's the addition of the new punch cards and quick challenges so the quick challenges are basically um, little challenges that are supposedly easy to do and they give you 1.4k xp um, if it's not supercharged and if it's supercharged it gives you 14k xp so I actually think they're better than daily challenges so let me know what you think of them guys um, there is also the addition of punch cards which after you hit a milestone on every single kind of like challenge, they give you um, 14,000 XP. Honestly, a little bit underpowered, but they kind of need to buff it a bit, and I hope they do do that. Anyway, I think it's okay, so I'll give it like a 6 out of 10. Yeah. So also, I just want you to, to let you know 56% um, of you guys aren't even subscribed, so don't be afraid to smash the big red button. So as you can see here, this is a clip about the charged shotgun that has been added in. Some people are a fan of it, I'm a fan of it, so let I'll tell you what I think about it. So as you can see in that clip there, I was kind of um, bouncing using the crash pads and then I did some heavy damage on that guy. But I think the charge shotgun is pretty cool. Some streamers say they don't like it, but honestly, I am actually a massive fan of it, considering how bad the pump has been since Chapter 2. But if I had the pump from Season 3, I'd much rather take that. It's kind of like a heavy damage shotgun, but it takes a while to charge up. Honestly, I actually will give this a 7 out of 10, because it's quite underrated, you know. And I think they need to buff it a bit, but... Other than that, it's actually quite good. 
I don't know why people say they don't like it, but there's a problem with it, which I can understand, is that when you charge it from t for too long, it does zero damage, even, like, not zero damage, but, like, barely any. Like, if you hit someone headshot, it would do, like, 49, and that's not great. Also, we have the unvolting of the P90, as you can see, I just got the kill there, and... They've nerfed it quite a bit, but I think I have to say I think it's like a lot better now, mainly because I've been using it in a while. Um, there's also the new addition of the Gold Rapid Fire SMG, which, by the way, if you haven't used it yet, it's extremely overpowered. It's like one of those guns Laser Beam would love. Like it's so powerful and such a laser, laser, laser. Um, like, the fact that it can fire, like, 26 bullets, and it's, like, really fast and stuff. Like, yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. I mean, you know, I think it's quite overpowered. So, yeah. Now, there's something else I'd like to move on to, which is the addition of the sharks. Now, I can't think of one person that hasn't been jump-scared by these things. While you're healing up in a box, it's, the shark literally comes out, and literally comes and eats you whole, swallows you whole. And that's very annoying, I think. And I just don't like the sharks, they're just very triggering and annoying. I mean, like, some of the new locations are kind of ruined by the sharks, in my opinion. Anyway, let me know what you think of them. I'll have to give them 4 out of 10. They were fun for the first couple of days of the season, now they're just a bit boring. Anyway, now I'd like to move on to the new mythic weapons. We have the proximate, well the shockwave grenade launcher, which is kits. We also have kits charge shotgun, which is extremely overpowered. There is Jules's drum gun, also Jules's glider gun as well, which is quite like overpowered. And there's Ocean's burst assault rifle. And with Ocean, we have the return of the legendary Chug Jug, like such an iconic thing. When someone's on 1 HP, I'd always used to watch clips of people healing it with it and stuff. Anyway, I'm glad they've brought the Chug Jug back and I hope it kind of stays in the game. Let me know what you think of it, guys. I'm honestly like really happy that it's back. And now I want to talk about something else, which is the new locations on the map. Now, I actually quite like the new locations, I much prefer them to last seasons and um, chapter 2 season 1 because it's so kind of, eh, this is fun to two weeks, now I want more, but this season I kind of feel like I'm gonna be satisfied with it, like for the entire season, I know not many people are, but I am, because, yeah. And also there is, um, the Fortilla, which is kind of in the Battle Pass um, screen, when you go in there, that is actually the Fortilla, guys. Um, let me know what you think of it. I think it's pretty cool. I'd give it a 7 out of 10 because, um, well, it's really cool, isn't it? But I'd, I would give it an 8.5, but sharks, man. I really do not like the sharks because for some reason, man, like, they just jump scare you and eat you when you're on like 20 HP. Now, this is quite a cool one. I think people have been anticipating this for a while. The, the addition of cars into Fortnite. Now, it was teased in um, the trailer for this season, but they haven't actually said when the sharks, no cars, sorry, are actually going to come into the game. It is when the water levels are going to go down though, so I'm not sure when that's going to be, it could be today, it could be tomorrow, I'm not sure. Of the time of this recording, I don't know. So yeah, let me know what you think of that guys, I mean, I love cars, someone that plays Forza Horizon 3 quite a lot. So yeah, I mean, and this this doesn't have much to do with Season 3, but I just want to like say to, if, to Epic Games that there's the lack of LTM modes. I mean, I kind of like Spy Games. But there was just something about it that I just didn't like. I mean, I loved Operation Knockout. Like, that was good. That was probably the best game mode. But, yeah, I think that's the only good game mode last season. Party Royale, so boring. They need to do much more stuff with it until it's actually good and something I would play. But anyway, 
So this is kind of my opinion about season three. I hope you guys are kind of agree with me a bit, and there's some stuff that needs to be nerfed, some stuff that needs to be buffed a bit. Um, those of you that like the new burst, let me know because it kind of looks like a hunting rifle now. Also, I'd just like to say about how um, like I'm so excited for cars to be in the game, and when they do, I'm going to be like really happy, guys. So. Yeah, I'll be doing loads of videos on the cars. Also, I have just literally hit 22 subscribers, so congratulate me and um, stay tuned for a sub, sub special soon. And anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If I had to give Season 3 a rating, I'd give it an 8.5. Alright, see you guys in the next video.